93 K-Rock. <laughs> like, uh, on, like after the fact, like Matt came in and, and it was the same thing. We all looked at him and we're like, you know, who is he as a person, right? And now we were like, oh my God, he's a classically trained pianist, you know? We had no idea. He's a graphic artist. And, you know, he, he does all this crazy computer kind of things. He edits a lot of our movies. He's like, he does all these things that I had no idea that he did, you know? Um, it was weird. So it just worked out even better. Um, I mean, he took, I remember just the other day, like we're, we're doing a lot of electronics in the band and he's uh, very skilled in the art of signal path, <laughs> which is the MIDI controlled stuff, all this radio head kind of stuff, art. you know, it's just a black art of musician. You, you can't ship, but, uh, and he's channeling the, the Moog, which I can't even figure out how to turn on. I know. It's just, he's making it make noise. All that stuff just, that oh, bands like Radiohead and Muse and all those kind of bands do electronically is like, that's what he does, you know? Um, but it, it's just one of those, but it, it was just, everything's perfect. We always used to say, this is Angels and Airways, it's going to be perfect. Everything's perfect. It always has. Everything's magic. I just kicked you. I'm really sorry. He's out of the sorry. band now. I just kicked him and broke his kneecap. She's like, not even listening. She's I'm like, like I'm gonna she's kicking you. Tell I him to really shut bad. up. I just kicked him. <laughs> Tell him to be quiet. He's pitching. All right, so you mentioned he's been editing your movies. What's yeah. the story with this movie I'm hearing about? Sci-fi? Uh, well, this is what... How do, how do we explain this? Well, there's... Okay, do we tell her? There's... <laughs> don't tell how, me how long do you have says that well, there, there's different things like matt what matt's working on typically is uh stuff for our website and we're gonna have a lot of you know short movies about ourselves just either behind the scenes or real candid looks at what we're doing and how we're making the music or us going on you know field trips to the actual shooting of the real movie which is a whole other situation which is on this super expensive camera with that looks amazing i mean it's it's like the highest end HD or, or what is yeah, it? yeah, it's like it's considered it the best camera in the world. But, uh, so that's part of what we're what we're putting together, which is uh, ten short films, which will accompany the album My Empire, and it it's gonna be like on a disc in no no the no, album, it, but or no, it'll accompany the music to it. Yeah, the record comes out November six, mm -hmm. so uh, this is gonna come out hopefully in mid to late two thousand eight, and it's going to it, it's basically the visual soundtrack to the record does that yeah I mean, it's hard to describe it because it's never really it's been done a couple of times in the past and people always like to point to pink floyd the wall which was this 20 million dollar narrative but but the narrative was based on obviously it's like a musical you know then you have something like rattle and hum which was a documentary that you two did um on their discovery of you know southern music in the united states so it's a performance piece and documentary based and then you have something like what we're doing which is it's got live action, it's going to have performance, and it's going to have um, a lot of uh, uh, different palettes for the way that it's put together and edited and the way it brings you into a storyline and out of a storyline into performance. It's meant to be a companion piece for the record, and we started filming it a few months ago, and we've been working. It's a fluid piece of art, too. It's not like we went into this with, you know, I say with $20 million in a script. It's totally different. We, we searched out um, a director that we really like, and we hired him. And uh, and we've been using the most incredible tools ever, and we're and we started putting together the live action piece of this. When we first started the film on the Whisper record, um, we started it with this documentary thing, and that ended up becoming so amazing. Like we spent so much money just for the opening of this documentary. It's all CGI. It's meant to be seen on big screens and planes and sunsets and and bombs exploding. It's gnarly. And uh, but the documentary ended up becoming such a fascinating story by itself that we're releasing that as well. And that whole thing shot on film, and we've been doing that for two. It's beautiful. So there's two films are totally different. Uh, and, and the way we describe them, or what we want them to be, is I say a standard of what bands could do if they just try, because the tools are readily available. Now, they're not going to be able to get a lot of the, the stuff that we got, you know, and the way we're filming it. It's, I mean, we're, we, we have some fantastic cinematography going on, you know, but... Um, and also with the company, you know, that we work, my company that we all are studios at and where we're based, we have a lot of different resources and a lot of people don't. Uh, but the point is, is that I think music needs to be um, tested and challenged and communicated in different ways. I know a lot of people are going to look at us and go, you guys have been talking about this movie for so long. Well, it actually is happening. We've already started it. We're deep into it now. We're going to be filming all the way through spring and they'll come out around fall probably. So the documentary is coming out? But the documentary will come or? out. No, the documentary, the first installment of it, the way we release, everything we do will be available through our website. On November 6th, our um, album comes out, but on November 1st, you can get the album like almost a week earlier off our website. But our website 
is going to have HD movies and short films and live events cool. and live versions of songs and B-sides. Like he says, we've been doing these little short, we've been doing them for a year. Like we have like a lot. Like it's not like a normal website where you go from a band and go, oh, this is them backstage. And then here's our music video that's on television. Like we'll just literally have categories. It'll be, our website will look more like Amazon, you know, than it's going to look like a normal band site. And, um, and so will people buy it or download it? So the, the, what's going to happen with all this stuff for people that are a part of our website community, which is, is something that's not necessarily free, you know, mm-hmm. but it's because there's a lot of really expensive rad shit in there. They will have access to these all these films we're making, but the films themselves will also come out in a tangible form later where you can actually buy it. And they will also have a limited theatrical release. And to what degree, I don't know, because the film's not done yet. And I would love for it to be in a thousand theaters. It might be in five. Who, who the mm-hmm. fuck knows? I mean, it's never been done before. Other than this, other than Pink Floyd taking three years and twenty million dollars, you know, and uh, and that's not what this is. I think where we're what the way Angels and Airways sees the the state of the industry changing is that I think multimedia and and the way that it intersects with music is going to be a large part of what's going to happen over the next set, like set, like five to seven years, and um and if it goes the way I think music will ine- ine- inevitably become free, but I think things like movies and things like um, these gigantic live events and multimedia applications are, is what people are going to buy into because mm-hmm. those types of things you can't really you can't you can't really make free because it's it's way more personable and and way more um it's it's way more fun to be involved with I mean I mean an MP3 versus hearing the music with a live show on a TV screen or or you know oh, however I mean it, there, there I have a lot of things there's a lot of things I can say and there's a lot of things I can't say because. There's, there's this. It's, I'll just keep talking here, and at this point, I'm going to stop because <laughs> I just want it to be good and exciting and not weird. All right, so angelsandairwaves.com? Yes. yes. Okay. K Rock 92.3. K Rock. K-Rock.